welcome to no second season. You know the scene, you're out on your mountain bike, your downhill bike, or your bike packing bike, and you've got to push up a steep incline. And you keep bashing your shins on the pedals. And if they're studded pedals, it hurts all that much more. So for some time I've wanted some quick release pedals and uh, I couldn't afford the top brand. I think they're MKS, they seem to be the best brand from Japan, but they're about 200 bucks. I couldn't afford those, so I bought some from eBay and they were just over 40 Australian dollars and um, I'm going to fit them and test them and let you know how it goes, if they don't kill me of course because it could be quite dangerous to have a pedal that breaks. I'm still in Australia. It's midwinter here. It's been cold and rainy. So let's have a look at these pedals. These are the pedals I bought. The company name is ProMend, if you can see that. And the model number is PD-R67Q. And we get a lovely little love letter in here. Just hoping you'll like them and that you'll uh, give them a good review. This is the pedal. It doesn't look terrible quality. Um, but it's not machined from a billet like they usually are. Um, it looks like a casting because the studs are actually part of the casting. Um, we've no idea how it's going to go until I test it. Here is the coupling. Now this will screw into the crank arm and it will stay on the bike. When you want to take the pedal off the bike, you'll pull this back and you'll slip the pedal out. To prevent this getting slipped back while you're riding, there's some plastic clips that come with it and they slot on here. How robust a plastic clip is, I don't know. We will test it and see, perhaps. So let's get them fitted. So I need to take my pedals off. Remember pedal threads are usually left hand thread on the left hand side and right hand thread on the right hand side. I always use a spanner. I don't use an Allen key. I don't know why, it's just my preference. So to undo, the, this is my left hand side, to undo left, we do turn it clockwise, just a little crack. And there it comes. That's one off. So this has a left hand thread on it. So you undo it to do it up as it were. Now you're gonna have to use a washer on this. I've just tried it. If you don't use the washer, it isn't gonna work. So, I'm going to screw that in. This nice little spanner is so handy. I'm going to keep it in my bike packing gear and my mountain biking gear. It's just really handy rather than having to have a great big 15mm spanner. And so, pull it back, slot the pedal in, put the clip in. And there we go. It was so much easier getting the bike in without the pedal on. <laughs> it's 
Here's a game changer, it really is. So, we'll see how it rides and uh, hope it doesn't break and kill me. I just need to wait now until the weather's a bit nicer. I'm not going out in this um, mud and rain because, well, you know how accident prone I am. In fact, uh, I had a fall from Stumpy two weeks ago. It was a beautiful Sunday and uh, I <laughs> haven't got any protection here. I've got a helmet, um, just an open face. I've got an old full face, which I'm going to wear next time. It's a bit big and heavy, but I'm going to wear it. Um, I've got no gloves, knee pads, elbow pads. So I'm going to borrow some off my daughter. And uh, next sunny day, I'm going to give those pedals a damn good hide in and I'll get back to you and let you know how they went. Hi, it's the next Sunday. I fitted the quick release pedals last week and I've just got the bike out of the car. It's just amazing what difference it makes. It doesn't rock around while you're driving at all. It's brilliant, it's so easy to get in and out. I'm just gonna pop the pedals on and then go for a ride. As easy as that. There's one thing to bear in mind is that the flats that you screw them in on are very thin so you can't use a normal spanner so I'm just wondering how easy these will be to get off but we'll try that another day. Let's go for a ride. So I've done one run and I'm just going to check the pedals make sure everything looks okay and then I'm going to go for another run. So that's me done for the day. I've done Dirt Luge, Shalob's Revenge and Trail Fairy twice, going up and down twice. I have to go, I can't do any more because I'm supposed to be somewhere. Um, but the pedals are fine, so at the moment really pleased with them. Um, what I'm going to do is keep using them and see how they go. And when I can afford it, I'll get them crack checked just to see that they're safe. And then I'll get another pair for my bike packing bike. So from me and Stumpy, it's a goodbye till next time. Please remember to like if you liked it or dislike if you didn't. And if you could subscribe, it would be great. And for those that have subscribed already, thanks very much. It's, um, it's really heartwarming when someone subscribes and each and every one means a lot to me. So until next time, bye for now. Apprenons le cha-cha-cha. Apprenons le cha-cha-cha.
Cha-cha-cha.